Our men's finalists, Jason McCroy of the UK and Miles Rockwell of the United States, a couple of tired guys with two more races to win this thing. Hey! Miles Rockwell on the right, an established star, one of the best downhillers in the world. But who is this Jason McCroy character? He's put a lot of bike riders in the bleachers and goes to the final against Miles Rockwell. It's When you're downhill mountain biking, as the name suggests, you're not pedaling much. Do you have to be very fit? Um, well, up until sort of last year, people didn't think you had to be fit and thought you had to be a bit crazy. Um, but the truth of it is you have to be extremely fit. So how fast will a fit rider be going down a, an extreme downhill? Um, well, it's somewhere like um, the course in California, on the Kamikaze course, um, you can touch well over 60 mile an hour um, quite easily if you're, if you're a fit guy. If it was anyone else, Miles might have had this race won, but Jason's got that power. Jason McCroy, no panic here. Look at there, Miles Rockwell, a little bit of a bobble. McCroy might have closed up a little bit of ground there, but he's certainly not panicking. He's very confident of his ability to stay close. When Jason's doing things like the, the dual eliminator, where there's two riders coming down very fast, is that something you enjoy watching? Um, my job as a photographer is to take photographs, but I'm absolutely petrified that something's going to happen. When you're traveling at 60 mile an hour down a mountainside where there's a two and a half thousand foot drop on one side with no catch nets, you, you tend to try and blot that from your mind. It was uh, probably a very frightening experience. I actually got a helicopter flight from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain and managed to miss Jason both times. So that's how bad it was. It's probably one of the most frightening experiences I've ever had. He did a great job of saving it. Now look at McCroy. He comes around. I haven't seen anybody pass there all day. Great pass, taking advantage of an opportunity. Now Jason McCroy with the advantage. Rockwell's almost in the fence. McCroy making his move, powering around on the outside to take the win. Jason, you're, you're from the Northeast, and I believe you actually started that at this course here at Wickham Thorns. That's right. Um, I raced here when I was about 10 year old. And uh, I always remember it was my favourite course. I used to love coming down here. My parents used to bring me down here to do some training. And it was just great fun. So how long have you been a professional rider? Uh, well, I turned as a full professional this year at the start of this season. I, um, I quit my job with BT and sort of took a risk and self-funded myself with the, the help of my last year's sponsors um, to get around the world to as many as I could. And it, it seems to have paid off. Is it necessary to have a special bike for downhill? Um, it's becoming so now, yeah. Most people laugh when um, a guy came up with the idea of putting suspension on the motorcycle. And, uh, I mean, look what we have today. The same thing happened when suspension was first thought of for a mountain bike. When the front suspension is it works the same as a motorcycle, basically. And the rear suspension, with the monoshock, is various different types. Again, it's just based on the same principle as a motorcycle suspension. And with downhill racing becoming closer, by the minute, I mean, you, you're losing races now by hundreds of seconds, so you have to have every advantage you can get. And look at the time difference, 16 hundredths of a second. These bike handling skills are important for any age. You never know, they might come in useful. <laughs>